Hello and welcome to Food for Thought, insights for busy leaders and managers in just 150 seconds. This is the next video in the series about the five C's of post-pandemic management. And this C is about compassionate leadership. And compassionate leadership is really all about being able to have empathy and compassion with people, but empathy in action. It's about not tolerating underperformance, and it's about being able to hold people to account, yet doing it with care and because you're dedicated to them and their success. Now, a lot of it has to do with self-awareness. And it's really important that you're also aware of your own triggers, of your own emotional foibles, of your own biases, because it's only by being aware of what triggers you that you can also have compassion for others when they're triggered and that you can support them and help them shift their mindset and their behaviors to be high performing. Now, a lot of people have this thing about compassionate leadership. It's all a bit wishy-washy or namby-pamby. And they're just myths. It's far from it. It's actually quite robust because it's about balancing. The reality of compassionate leadership is about balancing a number of paradoxes, things that may seem opposing to one another, but are in fact, when they come together, are exceptionally powerful. For example, empathic accountability having empathy and understanding of your people, but also holding them to account and not letting them underperform, not letting them get away with it. Saying like, this is really important that you do this because you need to be great. You need to be your best self at work, performing at the, at the best you can, while understanding that there may be things that are troubling them. And it's about confident, insightful curiosity. And that's about being able to express your opinions confidently but being relentlessly curious about the truth rather than being right. And also being curious about what your people think and what they're feeling about what they want at work. Then there's an equity mindset, which is about balancing being able to say what you need from them, but also what do they need from you? And how can you find a way of having a sustainable relationship? And finally, it's about respectful candor, which is about being direct with people as well as being really diplomatic and tactful. So when it comes to compassionate leadership, stay curious.